points A and B are 70 km apart on a highway. Points A and B are 70 km apart on a highway. A car starts from A and another car starts from B at the same time. If they travel in the same direction, they meet in 7 hours. But if they travel towards each other, they meet in 1 hour. What are the speeds of the cars? If they travel in the same direction, they meet in 7 hours. But if they travel towards each other, they meet in 1 hour. What are the speeds of the cars? Now, I think, forget about the distance and all that stuff, right? He says basically that there are two points, A and B, which are 70 kilometers apart. The distance between these two points is 70 kilometers, right? One car starts from A and another car starts from B at the same time, right? So, one car starts from A, goes towards B. The other car starts from B at the same time and goes towards A. Now, he says if they travel in the same direction, okay, they are not really going towards each other, but there are two cases. They travel in the same direction, which means if A travels here, B also travels in this direction. They meet in 7 hours. So, when they travel in the same direction, take 7 hours. But if they travel towards each other, which means this case, case 2, when, when B goes in this direction and A also goes in this direction, then they meet each other in 1 hour. So, one meeting takes 7 hours, other meeting takes 1 hour. If they travel in the same direction, 7 hours. In the opposite direction, 1 hour. What are the speeds of the car? I think instead of finding out the actual values, let's first get the ratio. You know that when they travel in the same direction, the relative speed is all about relative speed. So when they travel in the same direction, what is the relative speed? Speed of A minus the speed of B. Yes or no? And obviously the speed of A has to be more than the speed of B. You're getting it? The speed of A has to be more than the speed of B. Only then they can meet in 7 hours, right? See, when they're traveling in the same direction means what? Uh, you know, let's say that both of them are going towards west, right? So, A has to catch up with B. A has to catch up with B. So, you know, A speed is more than B. Only in that case, B, A can catch up with B. Otherwise, it's not possible, right? Otherwise, it will never be able to catch. If A is slower than B, how will it catch? But anyway, I think uh, nowhere it has been given that they are traveling towards west, right? If they are traveling towards east, then B speed should be more than A speed. So, okay, never mind. We say that SA difference SB, the differences of the speeds, right, is the relative speed when they travel in the same direction. When they travel in the opposite direction, when they travel towards each other, right, what happens? We have to take the sum of the speeds. Speed of A plus speed of B, right, speed of A plus speed of B. Now, you know that speed is inversely proportional to time. Speed is inversely proportional to time. So, if I take the relative speed ratio when they travel in the same direction, versus traveling in opposite direction. What should happen? The time should be reverse. SA minus SB. See, SA minus SB will take 7 hours. SA plus SB will take 1 hour. So, it should be in the reverse uh, reciprocal ratio, right? Speed is inversely proportional to time. So, S1 by S2 should be equal to T2 by T1. So, in the first case, it takes 7 hours. So, take 7 in the denominator. In the second case, it takes 1 hour. Take 1 in the numerator. Now, cross multiply and get the ratio. Cross multiply and get the ratio. What do we get? 7 times speed of A minus 7 times speed of B equals to speed of A plus speed of B. So, this tells us what? 6 times SA equals to 8 times SB. Or speed of A by speed of B equals to 4 by 3. 4 by 3. This again, if you assume that it is SA minus SB, which is not sure. If it is SB minus SA, then it will become 3 is to 4. But one thing is for sure that the ratio of their speed should be 4 is to 3. Right? 4 is to 3 or 3 is to 4. Remember, why? when will we get 3 is to 4? If we take SB minus SA. I hope all of you are able to follow. If this is taken as SB minus SA, then it becomes 3 is to 4. Right? So, answer is not clear yet but we know that the ratio has to be 4 is to 3 or 3 is to 4 immediately option 1 and option 2 get eliminated i mean option 2 should get el eliminated in the very beginning itself right both the cars if they travel at the same speed they will never be able to catch up when they are going in the same direction right so 30 30 cannot be the answer 50 20 also cannot be the answer because the ratio here is 5 is to 2 or 2 is to 5 we are looking for you know four parts and three parts option 3 looks like okay 40 and 30 sounds okay None of the above is also possible, right? It's always possible. Now, at this point, you have to take a call. I mean, if you are ready to take a chance, mark option 3 as the answer and go to the next one. Mark option 3 as the answer and go to the next one. Otherwise, you have to uh, do the detailed solution, right? I think you, you can verify it very easily. Uh, detailed solution meaning what? Even if you want to verify, what do we do? Don't put pen on paper. Simple. First car speed is 40 kilometers per hour. Second car speed is... 30 kilometers per hour, right? See, when they are traveling in opposite direction, what happens? 
look at this this is a and this is b right we know that the distance between these two is 70 kilometers right distance between these two points is 70 kilometers assuming that the first car speed is 40 and second car speed is 30 in one hour 40 kilometers per hour right and this is 30 kilometers per hour okay so we know that when they travel in the same direction when they are traveling towards each other it takes one hour so in one hour they should cover 70 kilometers in one hour they should cover 70 kilometers that is possible only when a speed is 40 and b speed is 30 yes or no because a will cover 40 kilometers in one hour b will cover 30 kilometers in one hour 40 plus 30 they will cover the total 70 kilometers and they'll meet somewhere in the path so 40 and 30 that will look correct Ha, if you want to really verify whether it is 40 30 or 30 40 then you have to do the other case also what is the other case when they travel in the same direction when they travel in the same direction what happens when they travel in the same direction so remember both of them had started at the same time both of them had started at the same time right so basically let's say if this is the meeting point this is where both the cars meet this is where both the cars meet so a is traveling in this direction b also is traveling in this direction and finally a and b both come and meet at this point now the time taken for a to start from this point and reach the meeting point is same as time taken by b to start from this point to reach the meeting point times are equal right what is time time is equal to distance by speed time is equal to distance by speed now so time taken by a equals to time taken by b what is time distance by speed what is the distance that a covers see uh, i mean we will go by that uh, speeds and find out the distance but let's say the distance here is d this this concept is used to find out the distance actually but we can verify i mean we can get the distance based on these speeds so time taken by a to cover this distance is how much time is equal to distance by speed so 70 plus d a will cover 70 kilometers plus d kilometers at what speed 40 b will cover what uh, only d at what speed 30 now cross multiply to find out the distance you will get the answer yeah so 210 plus 3d equals to 4d so finally d comes out to be 210 kilometers but i think this will not help this is only giving us the distance see i am sure it's very easy you can just go by relative speed and mark option 3 is the answer the ratio has to be 4 is to 3 which is only in option 3 there yeah if you take 30 and 40 the problem is if you take now verify if you take 30 and 40 what happens we will get negative value for distance that's the whole concept right we have got distances 210 kilometers if you interchange if you say why are we sure that it is 40 and 30 why not 30 and 40 try it so let me take the other set of values as well right if you take 30 kilometers for a and 40 kilometers for b in that case what happens 70 plus d by 30 equals to d by 40 now in this case when you simplify what do we get 4d minus d uh, 4d minus 3d d is equal to minus 280 kilometers can the distance be negative no which means it's not 30 and 40 it's 40 and 30 i mean if at all you want to do the complete verification but you can take a chance in the exam and directly mark option 3 as the answer because that's the only one which uh, satisfies the ratio that we have got